Hi there, this is iTower, and today we're going to explore the top 5 programming languages in 2025. Whether you're a beginner wondering where to start, or an experienced developer looking to stay on top of industry trends, this video will help you understand which languages are in demand, and where the tech world is heading. Before we dive in, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. It truly helps support the channel and motivates me to create even more valuable content for you. We'll start with Python, a widely recommended language that stands out for its simplicity and readability. It's not only popular among developers, but also highly favored by recruiters due to its widespread use. The key strength of Python lies in its clear and easy to understand syntax. If you can read an English sentence, you'll be able to read Python code as well. Python's versatility is another major benefit. It's used across a variety of fields, including web development, data science, machine learning, and automation. Python supports object-oriented programming, dynamic typing, and automatic memory management through garbage collection. Its extensive standard library covers everything from HTTP requests to AI modules. However, Python has its drawbacks. It's not the fastest language due to its dynamic typing and the global interpreter lock, which limits parallel processing. For example, here's a simple web scraping script in Python. Let's break down what's happening here. First, we import the requests and beautiful soup libraries, which are needed for working with HTTP requests and parsing HTML. Next, we use the get method from requests to retrieve the HTML content of the page. The beautiful soup function then takes the HTML and converts it into a format that's easier to analyze. Finally, the print method simply outputs the page's title. The next language is JavaScript. Let's talk a bit about the web. If you want to build websites, you can't avoid it. JavaScript runs in the browser, enabling you to create interactive pages, and it can also be used on the server side thanks to Node.js. JavaScript is an asynchronous language with an event-driven model, working through the event loop. It supports ECMAScript standards and has a promise system as well as async and a wait for convenient handling of asynchronous operations. The main feature is its ability to run both on the client side and server side. However, JavaScript has its drawbacks, such as the lack of strict typing, which can lead to unexpected errors. Here's an example of a simple server written in Node. We import the built-in HTTP module, which allows us to create servers. We then call createServer method, which takes a request handler function. When the server receives a request, it responds with a status code of 200 and the text hello world. The listen method starts the server on port 3000. Next up is Java. If Python is the versatile Swiss army knife, then Java is the tank serious, reliable, and used in enterprise systems, banks, and Android development. Java is a strongly typed language with the Java Virtual Machine, which ensures cross-platform compatibility. It supports multi-threading through threads and the executor's API. The main downside is that it requires significant resources to run and tends to have a lot of boilerplate code for simple tasks. Here's a simple Java program code. We create a class called Hello World and within it, the main method, which serves as the entry point to the program. Inside the main method, we call systemoutprintln, which simply outputs text to the console. The fourth language on the list is C Sharp. It's the go-to choice for those interested in game development, working with Windows applications, or doing back-end development. The standout feature of C Sharp is its use in game development through Unity. Finally, the fifth language on the list is Go or Golang. This language from Google is gaining popularity in back-end development, microservices, and server-side applications. Go is renowned for its execution speed, making it an excellent choice for building high-performance server applications. However, due to its simplicity, Go lacks some features found in other languages like Python or Java, which might limit its use for more complex projects. For example, here we import the FMT and net HTTP modules which are needed to work with HTTP requests. The handler function receives the incoming request and responds with hello world. In pane, we bind the handler to the root route slash and HTTP listen and serve starts the server on port 8080. In conclusion, I recommend always keeping an eye on programming languages and their development. Look for something new, keep learning and improve your skills. This was iTower. See you next time.